This is a 1950 Chevrolet 3100 pickup truck. And this is an pretty much all original matching numbers truck, except it has had a disc, uh, power disc brake conversion done to it. So it's actually still got the old uh, push button on the floor. And this truck runs and drives great. It's a three on the tree. Stored vehicle may have had a paint job on it many many years ago other than that I don't believe the truck has been restored all that much the uh, odometer is only showing actually 16,000 miles but I don't know how long ago it could have stopped working so <clears throat> this truck drives great you'll notice the steering wheels perfectly straight uh, very very little uh, it tracks perfectly straight, very, very little uh, uh, play in the steering wheel. Now it does have a disc brake uh, conversion with a power booster on it. The power booster is not hooked up. So uh, if you wanted to hook up the power booster, it just needs the, um, just needs the, uh, what do you call it? <sighs> Vacuum hose hooked up to it. Reverse works just fine as well. It does have this the old single exhaust it has been replaced at some point take a listen to the engine the engine runs great Even the old horn works. I'm gonna shut it off so that we can take a walk around it. And so uh, yeah, I decided not to do like an engine detail on it because I just wanted to show um, just the, basically the originality of it. At some point, someone may have rebuilt the engine. It looks like there's two different color paints on there. Um, it runs awesome. I mean, you touch the button, you saw me fires right up. Um, it warms up, uh, quickly and then it, but it, 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 um, I haven't seen it overheat. So, um, even the heater hoses are still hooked up to the, uh, in, uh, the heater inside, uh, which means that it's not leaking, which is very cool. Uh, there's a little bit of rust on this truck, but very minimal. We'll start with, since the hood is open, no rust on the hood at all. Which is really really great also the uh, hood hinges are working properly which is really nice so they hold up uh, easily well and uh, the the uh, the hood holds itself up opens and closes easily let's take a quick walk around this is kind of a I don't know maybe a survivor farm truck kind of a look one of the things that's a little bit of a bummer is there's a few places since the paint's so old where it's chipped off here and there and somebody came around with some sort of like blue spray paint it looks like and tried to touch it up um, I don't even know that they were trying to touch it up maybe just get some paint on there to keep it from resting or whatever um, it's kind of a shame but I think with a little bit of finesse you could go over the vehicle and sand those parts off I would even attempt maybe to sand those parts down to bare metal get a little surface rust on there and come back and clear the thing again because I, that's a that's a look that's really hot right now that's really in and um, man the body on this truck is straight uh, like I said very minimal rust and in just a second I'll show you where there is rust but the body's really straight this truck honestly would be a good candidate for a full restoration if you wanted it to be with it being um, original matching numbers I don't think that it's been restored for the most part um, one of the obvious pluses about this is that it's a five window truck. The glass is in good shape and the rubber overall looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, few little cracks, which would be 
uh, synonymous with being the original rubbers or very old. Also, one of the things that I love is the split windows. And there are no vent windows in this truck. The vents do work, both the center vent pops up and the side vent pops out. Step sides are in good condition. Uh, one of the little tricky things that needs to be fixed with this truck is sometimes the door doesn't want to latch. You go to slam it and pull back on it. And it, so have to, you have to jiggle the handle a couple times, cl slow, close it a couple times, and then it closes and locks. So it does close and lock, but like I said, you kind of have to play with it some. So it's got the old original felts in the windows right now. You can see they're kind of starting to fall out there if I pull on it a little. Um, but the windows do roll up and down. And all the glass is in good shape, um, except that the driver's side, the driver's side piece does have one crack in it right here. These are these two cracks. So it looks like it got hit right here at this point and sp spidered out. Looks to be the original glass or at least very old. Um, all the rest of the glass is in great condition and there's no uh, windshield wipers uh, uh, scratches or anything like that, which is great. That window is, oh, that window is up. You can see that it's in excellent condition and all the glass in the back is in great shape. It's got an old headliner in it, needs to be replaced. It's kind of falling down. Um, I didn't even check to see if the interior light works. Nope, it doesn't. The lights do work though um, on the truck. We pull that light switch and it may be hard to see out here because of how bright it is, but the lights are on. And uh, the truck has its original one rear tail light and it is on. Now, uh, all of the gauges work that do work, the battery gauge, oil pressure and temperature gauges all work uh, the sending unit needs to be replaced for the gas gauge to work and the uh, speedometer actually got to where it was working. It's working, but it's kind of squealy sounding. Probably just needs to be lubricated, but right now the cable is disconnected. It's got the old original floor uh, mat in here. It's got the old original seat cover. The back of the seat is in good shape, but the seat where you sit down has two rips here. The nice thing about this is LMC.com. You can buy the interior kit. It's actually pretty inexpensive. The headliner, seat cover kit, door panel kit, if you want to go back with the original and new floor, pat, floor mat kit in here. Um, if you did that and then also bought the plastic button kit for the radio, this uh, interior would be fantastic. The nice thing is it is an unmolested interior and uh, that is an original Chevrolet radio. Just needs the new buttons. I don't know that it's working, obviously. Choke does work. Uh, it does, and the emergency brake is not hooked up right now, so. On to the exterior. I believe it's quite possible this could be the original wood bed, uh, bed wood. I did uh, clean it just with a pressure washer, but that's it. Looking from underneath, it looks like it's never been out, or if it has been, it would have been a very, very long time ago. It's actually in pretty good shape and if you really wanted to keep the original old school farm look but t polish it up a little bit you could take the rails off clean them up and reinstall them leave that old original bed wood i do have the original wheels and uh, if you want them with the purchase of the vehicle i'd be happy to throw them in these are brand new chrome wheels with brand new chrome hubcaps and brand new firestone uh, bias ply tires um, they are all brand new these tires and wheels and tires uh, and they are true white walls, three inch white walls. Uh, these tires probably have two or 300 miles on them and they're in great shape. They're not old and weather rotten, they're brand new. They were put on about two years ago. I wanna get to the rust real quick here. So we're running a little long on this. You'll see that the step ups are in fantastic condition. In condition. And even you'll notice that there's a little bit of rust in the inner cab corners, but these are the original floor pans here. Great shape. Now there is a spot of rust here, um, and I believe that might have happened from the exhaust, original exhaust running over. I'm not sure. Um, so there is a rusted hole in that uh, frame cross member that goes across. The rest of the frame rails are in fantastic shape, but I did want to show that. There's also a spot of rust here in the front. This is pretty normal where it's rusted there in the inner um, fender well. Other than that, 
Moving on to the back, nice, clean, and rust free. This is a truck I would advertise as a minimal rust, very minimal rust. Only a couple of spots that have really stuck out to me. It is a new exhaust system. When I say new, probably within the past couple of years. Inner fenders are very clean and rust free. And then we'll do the inner fenders here. Same spot, just like on the other side, we got a hole there. Small hole there. Oh, also the um, shocks are new. One other thing I wanted to try to point out here, okay, is that is actually a um, power booster with all new brakes. And it has had a disc brake conversion done to it. You can see the disc brakes there. So this thing stops awesome and the uh, power is not even hooked up right now. Original battery box is rusted on the edge here. Step side in fantastic shape here. And again, original floor pans are in great shape. So those are the only three spots of rust that I've seen. Oh no, wait, there is one other spot. Where the emergency brake goes down, and actually this is probably this the, what I showed on the outside. But the emergency brake goes down does have a small hole there. Um, about the size of a dollar folded in half. So that spot right there. Other than that, that's the only rust that I've seen on the truck. This is a, man, this is just such a cool, cool truck. I love these trucks. I love split window. I love five window trucks. Um, like I said, right now, this truck is running and driving. Lights work. Brakes are great. The brake system has been completely redone with the disc brake conversion in the front. Um, the truck, this truck's ready to drive as is. And then you can tinker with it, take it on to the next level if you want. I think this would make a great farm truck or a shop truck. And uh, I don't think it would take a whole lot of money to take it up to the next level. Sky's the limit on a truck like this.